This video is going to be a complete and honest review of clickworker.com and we're going to determine together whether or not it is worth your time trying out this website, so let's get started. What you want to do as soon as you head over to the main platform is switch over to this other tab. This is clickworker job area because that's precisely what you're interested in. We are not here to hire other people and pay them for their services, but instead you're here to profit from your talents which is precisely what click workers allows you to do. Now, what kind of jobs are we actually talking about? Let's find out. First and foremost, text creation is going to be the first one of them. It is all about creating informative texts, product descriptions, or articles about a given topic. And so this is very similar to some sort of entry-level copywriting. But let's learn more about it and see whether or not this is a good fit for us. And so if you're someone who enjoys jotting things down and making notes about different topics, then this is the opportunity you want to take advantage of. They're basically looking for text writers who can create texts for them based on a template or about a predefined topic. This is not going to be a very demanding task, but you can get paid quite well by completing it. Now, in order to become a text writer on Clickworker, after signing in with a new account, what you have to do is just exhibit your writing talent by completing an author assessment test. This is just to prove your worth. It is in order to prove your skills, so you need to pass that test in order to be accepted. They can evaluate your assessment text and grade it according to the quality on a star scale of 2 to 5. Depending on the rating, you will get accepted or not. But even if you don't get accepted, even if creating text is not for you, there are so many other things you can do. Let's head over to the second one. It is all about categorization. There you go. If you guys enjoy analyzing data files such as videos, photos, or documents and classifying them according to terms, well, then data categorization might be a good fit for you. What basically happens once you create a new account is that you can evaluate, analyze, or categorize the content of websites, search results, images, or documents whenever you feel like it. And that's the thing about working with click workers. You're not employed here. You're not working a nine to five, but instead you're just an individual contractor. You're still working as a freelancer. That means whenever and wherever you want, but you get to make a decent amount of money month after month because there are so many different opportunities here. But let's move on to the next one. What about copy editing? What does it actually consist of and what are the requirements? Well guys, copy editors check corrected texts with regards to content, style, and the exact implementation of the job instructions. In other words, you're gonna be the person who double checks the text just before it's published. And so you do have some responsibility here. To put it very simply, your task is going to be to ensure that both the author and the first proofreader have complied with the specifications and that the quality of the text is such that it can be submitted to the client. In other words, the text you are working with has already been corrected, but you just want to give it one more look. You just want to double check and make sure everything is on point. If it is, you're just going to submit your work. If it isn't, you're going to suggest the modifications that need to be made. I hope that is pretty self-explanatory. And the list actually goes on we're not gonna stop there proofreading is another one that you might be interested in this is very similar to copy editing the main difference is that there will be a little bit more work to do here and here is how you become a data interest on click worker you don't need a particular qualification you don't need a degree for this but once you have passed the eligibility test you can start working on these projects as long as the jobs are available but here's my personal favorite one this is going to require a little bit more work from your end but it's also a lot of fun it is the so-called mystery visit section in other words guys here's what you're gonna do you're just going to your favorite stores and pretending that you're a regular customer but in reality you're taking notes you're paying attention to every single detail and making sure everything is on point so you get to pay that business a mystery visit and that includes nearby stores you can take pictures of products and upload them to click worker and so all in all that's going to be an enjoyable activity you will not really feel like you're working and you can also get compensated for your contribution which just makes the whole thing a lot better but here's another one app testing now guys let me tell you something clickworker.com is not the only place where you can perform app testing this is a really important process for any business who's looking to launch their own software and there are even dedicated platforms that are going to ensure the testing of certain apps and websites such as usertesting.com which is one of the most popular options. But if you want to keep everything in one place, then you can still perform the app testing jobs on Clickworker. We're talking about helping businesses optimize their design, functionality, and usability for different applications. And ultimately, guys, you can even get paid for taking pictures, recording audio, or even taking videos. 
Now let's face it, this is not rocket science and none of these jobs is actually all of that demanding. Some of them will require you to travel to a certain physical place such as the mystery visit, but most of them can be done remotely, which makes the whole thing a lot better. And at the end of the day, all you need is just your laptop and a solid internet connection, and you're perfectly qualified. No degrees needed, no previous experience is going to be required, it all boils down to your willingness to actually do the work. But what about the payouts guys? Let's not waste any more time. I know you're all about the exact figures, so take a look at this. If you pass the English language and writing assessments, you will gain access to assignments which allow click workers to make about $8 per hour on average. And so, that is the average amount of money that a click worker is making. But here's the thing, usually there is enough work available for at least 4 hours per day. Let's do the math on that one. And so, based on these figures, based on this data that I got from Indeed.com, you can work for an extra 4 hours a day, so this is going to be part-time, and that's going to pay you an extra $8 on an hourly basis. Now, let's just say you want to put in a little bit more effort, and so you want to work 7 days a week, well, in that case, that's an extra $224 a week. Multiply that by 4, and you literally got yourself almost $900 working remotely part-time, by simply categorizing data, paying mystery visits, testing apps, and doing all sorts of effortless tasks. Chances are you're not even going to get tired. However guys, let me be entirely truthful here. If you're gonna take a random person from the internet and then connect them to your ClickWorker account, give them the requirements that need to be completed, and then let them complete that job, chances are they can do it, which is not necessarily a good thing. Now, the fact that you've got easy tasks might be a good thing if you're not willing to invest that much time. And so you're already pretty busy, perhaps you're working a 9 to 5, and you just want to make some extra cash online. Well, in that case, ClickWorker might be a good option. But if you're looking to make some decent amounts of money, we're talking about 4 figures, 5 figures online, Click worker is not gonna cut it. That is because there is no scarcity here when it comes to your skill. You're not getting paid for your skills or your capabilities, you're just getting paid for your time. And as you can spot, $8 an hour is not a fortune, to say the least. That is why it might be a good idea to take some time and actually learn a high paying skill before starting to work. And one platform that allows you to learn a skill for absolutely free is called remotetasks.com. Now, if you connect to the website, you're gonna understand exactly how it works. It's a three step process. First off, you're gonna learn a new skill easily. Easily. They've got some quick online courses or you can even give a try to their free hands-on training. Once that is out of the way, you're gonna start completing tasks and finally you get paid in US dollars on a weekly basis. And they are currently supporting over 90 plus different countries. Let me log into my account and I'll be right back in a second. If you guys connect to the training session on remote tasks, once you have successfully logged into your account, this is pretty much where the magic happens. Because once you're here, you can start learning a new skill for absolutely free, and then Remote Tasks is also going to allow you to monetize it on their platform. So not only do they offer you a lot of job opportunities you can take advantage of as a complete beginner, but you can also learn the skill that is needed, and they're gonna provide you with free training for that. Take a look at this. One such skill that is needed on the platform is called Image Annotation. It is all about differentiating certain shapes from a background basically outlining certain items that's all you gotta do but there's gonna be a comprehensive guide here there's a full step-by-step -step breakdown that you can follow and all of this information is free to access just take a look at this they are gonna explain exactly why this skill is needed you can use their tool and how you can make sure that everything goes according to plan and you're not messing it up but even then guys according to swiftsalary.com you can only expect to earn around 3.6 dollars per hour on average there are probably gonna be a lot of different projects that you can take advantage of and so over a longer period of time you can make more money but it is not all that worth it 3.6 dollars an hour is a pretty insignificant payout if you ask me and you gotta ask yourself the question is my time only worth eight dollars or 3.6 dollars an hour or is it worth more than that well guys if you don't have any skill whatsoever then unfortunately your time is not that valuable but if you want to take the time to learn a skill so that you can provide more value to a client moving forward then your time suddenly becomes a lot more valuable and take a look at this this is a list of the top nine high income skills that you can learn online and among them are going to be software engineering which is one that you probably already knew sales is also really valuable digital marketing web design search engine optimization trade skills and pay attention to this copywriting is also among the options now in case you're not familiar with it copywriting is the art of selling with words and people are actually making four or even five figures a month copywriting now this may seem like a lot of money right now but let's just put things into perspective for a second let's just think about the use cases for a copywriter let's say you're a business owner and you're looking to launch your own digital item to sell online well in that case most likely you will have to build multiple different websites basically 
create the whole sales funnel. But if you want your funnel to convert, you will need the help of a copywriter. Whenever you guys see such a website that is basically specifically engineered in order to convert leads, in order to generate sales, all of this text was probably written by a copywriter. And the same can be said about emails, destined for email marketing, Facebook ads, Instagram ads. To put it very simply, when it comes to promoting online, a copywriter is just mandatory if you want to make the process efficient. And so guys, you could either start completing these effortless jobs on clickworker.com, remote tasks, and I'm sure there are other options as well out there. And you will probably make some money, I'm confident of that. But if you're serious about spending your time online efficiently, you wanna learn a new skill. And copywriting might be a good option if you're just starting out right now. That was actually one of the first things I've done in order to make my first money online. I used to write captions for Instagram profiles, but I do not have the expertise to teach you about copywriting. Now, there are other YouTube creators out there that will be able to teach you about it, but I would recommend that you check out this community right here. It is the Hustlers University Discord server, and this community basically aims to help regular people like you and me learn skills that they can easily monetize online. We're talking about everything ranging from Amazon FBA to affiliate marketing, copywriting, of course, and a bunch of others, even crypto stocks and e-commerce are included and so i'm pretty sure that you will find a good fit even if copywriting is not for you and to top it off each and every single one of the professors inside the community is making upwards to six figures a month in their select field of activity that means that the copywriting teacher is probably making five or six figures a month copyright and so if you're ready to learn a new skill i'm gonna have a direct link down there in the description box that's it for now and thanks for watching